Hi, my name is Marsha Claire. I am wearing a Catherine Beeks original, and I'm going to show you how to make sushi at home. Save your money. Don't go out. Stay tuned. Okay, so the reality is sometimes you go to get your sushi grade fish, also known as grade one fish, and you get there and it doesn't look good enough. And for the record, you're gonna to wanna to either take a class on how to choose your fish, or you're going to to wanna to go online and learn how to choose sushi grade fish. So if I'm really craving sushi and I wanna have it, I know that I have to have imitation crab on hand so that if when I go to the rest uh, to the store and I see that they don't have what I want, I can still come home and make sushi. If you have a rice cooker, that's best. And don't ever use the quick cook, use the long cook. Um, I always add sesame oil and uh, rice vinegar to my rice. Um, this little bag is full of um, bits of tempura batter. Um, the most important thing to remember is just to make sure that you take the membrane out of the cucumber. You're going to just want to be using the meat. What kind of cucumbers are those? Um, these are pickling cucumbers. They are just, they're tender. You can actually keep the peel on if you use these kind because it's so tender. And it actually kind of adds an extra bit of crispness to it. Uh, this is a sheet of nori, or seaweed. Um, they come in packs of typically 10. Okay, so we are going to make a Garbo roll because I'm in a band called Garbo with Catherine Beeks, Rob Garbowski, Matt Sylvia, Jen Berkeley, myself. Um, and basically, Garbo roll is going to be everything. So get ready. Now, if you wanted to do a roll where you're using, uh, where you want it to be rice on the outside, you're going to want to lay down over this roller um, a piece of cellophane, and then you put your um, your rice over the cellophane, and then you add this. Um, I would recommend for people who are just starting to roll, roll with this first, and then go with the cellophane. All right, um, this is this roll is actually going to have two sheets of nori because it's everything. Um, we are going to lay our rice out. First thing we're doing is pressing the rice because now I'm going to lay my other sheet on here. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of fairly hefty chunks of salmon right here. I'll go ahead and put my carrot here. I use shredded carrot. You can cut them. Right, this is going to be gigantic. I'm going to go ahead and even though there is rice under here, I'm gonna go ahead and put more meat. And again, if you're not using these pickling cucumbers, don't, uh, you definitely need to peel them and you need to seed them better than I seeded these. There we go with that. This is going to be a huge roll. Garbo is everything, so I'm going to throw a little cream cheese in here. Notice how I don't really worry about if it's all spread out. It's going to spread out when I roll it up. Trust me. Here comes some crunch. And here's the roll. Now, honestly, this just takes a little bit of practice. A lot of practice? No. A little? Yes. So I sort of grab everything, especially, it, this is a, a huge roll. So I grab everything and I pull it together and I give it a good, good, solid pull, okay? It looks like that. Now, um, I don't have rice vinegar on hand. You can use rice wine, rice vinegar, or water. I'm going to use water. I'm going to go ahead, pull up both of these, seal them, 
and I'm going to finish the roll. The water is glue. There's your roll. And immediately cut. It looks like that. Um, the one thing to remember is you always have to have a very, very sharp knife. That's imperative. Okay, so half of the fun of sushi preparation is honestly the presentation. And I absolutely love it to look pretty. What's that sauce you're putting on that? This is dynamite sauce. How do you make that? Um, this is made out of, well, this particular batch is made out of olive oil mayo, um, sriracha, also known as rooster sauce, and, uh, and a little bit of rice vinegar and a splash of water. There it is. That is one heck of a roll, people. It's a beautiful roll, girl. All right. It really is just a matter of uh, presentation, like anything. Not everybody likes dynamite sauce, so maybe just um, drizzle this down one section. Who doesn't like crunchies? So honestly, I'm gonna probably put crunchies on both. We have our wasabi. We have our ginger. You have your black sesame. Um, these are from Fresh and Easy. They're actually called Sushi Chef. But there you have it. Doesn't it look pretty? Beautiful. So, thank you for watching How to Make Sushi at Home. Um, I just want to remind you that it is the holiday season, and what better gift to give your significant other than like a How to Make Sushi packet. They usually come with a mat and a little book and uh, a little how-to guide. Have fun. Just me, and then I'll bring the crowd in. Wait, okay. I'll get it. Let me fix this. Okay. Hi. This is what I do. On the cutting board. Wait, let me pop in. Come on. So, and, and don't forget to show my apron. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, cut. Okay.